So recently I came across a custom camo inside of Modern Warfare 2 that I've been rocking quite a lot in my games. I've been getting questions from some comments and also my friends who were asking me, how did I do that? Well, as you can see on your screen, you might kind of already know, but in today's video, I want to tell you this, I guess, quote unquote, secret, really cool camo that you can put on your weapons really easily and kind of stand out from others. It does take a combination of using camos and the weapon decals that we have inside of the game, which is something that I never really taught of mixing until I obviously did it and they work pretty well like it looks really good before we hop into the video if you're new here please subscribe we're on the road hitting 40,000 subscribers and we're like nearly there to 38,000 bit insane can we hit 40 before new year like we're already in December so I guess slight merry christmas and also be sure to drop a like on the video as that does really help out anyway just let's go right into the video okay so first thing is first you need to get this camo on the mp7 or the bell 46 whatever you want to call it now as you can see it is the white out solid white camo and it requires you to obviously have your weapon fully maxed out but also on top of all of this you need to get 10 double kills with it which isn't actually too difficult this submachine gun is pretty good overall the submachine guns inside of this game are just just next level in my opinion and then and the only bad thing that I would say is that you do have to have the battle pass purchased and go into tier A16 if you want to call it that. The one that I'm over, like right here. Inside of this specific one, you will find this weapon decal, which is called Fractured. And this is the one that I personally use for my weapon. Now, it's up to you kind of what to use what decal because they all kind of work, in my opinion. Like, they all make your weapons look just a tiny bit different. But the reason I prefer this one for now anyway is because you can never really exactly tell that it's skulls the way they're just kind of like shattered and fractured i guess if you want to call it that you know haha funny name it just kind of works and the thing with this is i don't know if you can see in the bottom corner but it does say that season one is going to last for another 62 days which is just around two months since the next few months just have you know 30 days in them christmas and stuff like that so you'll have two months to either fully max out this battle pass get whatever extra card points you need and get this weapon decal or just simply you know if you have it already purchased it's actually really easy to tear up so i i i don't know if i would fully recommend this battle pass there's nothing really that good in it but hey you know if you have money to spare you might as well and i know that i said that you should have the whiteout camo but this actually kind of works with a few of the solid camo i don't know <laughs> maybe not with the blue one maybe not this one Maybe not with the brown one, but it does look good with, the, with this like slate grayish black one inside the game, in my opinion. And it looks not too bad with the neon loud green camo. And let's be honest, they kind of did ruin them. Ooh, did it kind of ruin them recently? The camos and I think the white one is the only one that kind of just stayed in the middle and like didn't really change too much. But every other solid camo unfortunately took a hit and just became extremely unvibrant, which I guess works with this weapon decal. And quickly hopping into some private match to show off this, well, ammo on other weapons as you can see it's really subtle which is something that i really like it's not something that you will be fully paying attention to inside of the game and overall with camos i'm never like oh yes look at this camo look at this camo unless i guess i get the masteries but for now this just kind of just looks so vibrant with the white and then the gold bits just kind of make you know be like oh, i like this camo and personally that's the reason why i've been rocking it so much and i've been having like my friends and other people asking me they're like hey whoa how did you get that camo well i i kind of created it now then again i have to say it doesn't work with every weapon like for example this if you really look at it it just fennec just doesn't look the greatest uh but would you really pay attention to that i i, I kind of wouldn't like i i i don't think i would really go like oh oh ugly i i've been rocking this camo design for quite a while let's check out other weapons real quick uh here is the expedite 12 i think uh and yeah no it doesn't look the greatest on this but then again like just don't pay attention to it okay no wait never mind uh you can like barely even see it but here is the brand new victor sniper rifle and i think that looks pretty good like why does the decal look so big on some other weapons and then so small on the other ones or like just placed weird i don't know man infinity ward you're you're kind of odd but like this works in my opinion like i don't have a gold camo for this unlocked and the white looks really clean like it covers the weapon pretty well and then this gold or whatever you want to call those shards sheesh like that looks pretty goddamn good if i do say so myself here's the hcr lmg and it's kind of similar with the expedite 12 where it's just placed very odd but i think it still works for how subtle and small it is i think it will be one that like i don't know why i'm trying to convince you this is just up to you if you want to use it personally i'm gonna be rocking oh it's only on one yeah don't 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 pay attention to that 
This is like my substitute to rock before I unlock gold on my weapons to, you know, then try to go for the mastery unlocks on top of getting platinum and stuff. And I, I really do like it. So I was like, let's share it with the internet. Here is the scar. And I think that looks pretty good. Like, I already have gold on it and platinum, so I'm probably never going to use this scar until I go for the mastery camos, but I, I guess that looks pretty good. It, it does depend on the weapon. I think some machine guns look the best with it, but I think that worked. Oh, and uh, here's a rocket launcher. I, 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 I also have platinum and gold, but I felt like, oh, we're not even looking at it anymore. But <laughs> I guess this is just an example that it works on everything, but for some reason just blocks off by that, like, sponge thing, I guess, for your shoulder. Is that what that's for? Okay, so quickly as a little outro, you know, it, it works for most weapons, okay? Like, I'm not here to try to be like, oh my god, this is the best camo. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. I just felt like telling you about it because I think it's really cool that we can mix some solid camos or just camos for your weapons with some stickers or I guess mostly just the decals because stickers inside the game, they don't really look that good. I don't think any stickers have ever looked good inside of Call of Duty and the only stickers that really would stand out are the ones that you get for like really big challenges. So for example, getting the nuke inside of the game, that's a sticker I'd use. But apart from that, has no uh, just decals they look so good like most of them look amazing like you can create some really cool things and there's some funny ones like tactical af and stuff like that and even one of the stickers for some odd reason says that you get it for getting 600 dmz extractions but i'm pretty sure the sticker or the decal that i have is for the beta so that means that you most likely will get some kind of decal for 600 dmz extractions it's kind of insane I'm only on like 20 something, so bit of a way there. And yeah, again, that's it for the video. If you want to combine uh, the actual decal with like different camos, I really do recommend that because I know I said that it works with the solid ones, but it kind of works with other weapons as well. Like if you look at it inside the creator class, kind of get an understanding of what works, what you think doesn't and stuff like that. Again, if you're new here, be subscribed. Road to 40,000. Thank you so much again, as always, just for the help and the amazing support we've had on the channel recently. Also, be drop a like on the video as it does really help out. And also, guys, next one. Peace out.